stop this fool. They got guns. You got a goddamn gun. They got bear guns. Mm -hmm. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2021 action film Deadlock. A film that is co-written and directed by Jared Cohn. And it stars Patrick Muldoon, Bruce Willis and Matthew Marsden. Right, this film focuses on like um, a power plant uh, that essentially exists to protect this town from flooding. Uh, Patrick Muldoon is an ex-army ranger who works at this power plant. Um, and this power plant is then targeted by Bruce Willis and a group of mercenaries in order for Bruce Willis to take out his revenge on a couple of police detectives who he believes was responsible for the death of his son. Um, and he, if he doesn't get the truth, he's going to take it out on the town by flooding it. Right, what are my thoughts on Deadlock? Well... I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Bruce Willis films these days. Why or oh why? Okay, I've literally only just reviewed... Uh, what was the other one called that I've reviewed recently? Uh, Fortress, that's it. And then Apex, another one fairly recent. None of them are particularly good. Some of them are bearable. Uh, where does this one fall in that category? Well, this is not good. Uh, at all really there's not an awful lot to recommend here um let's start with the obvious bruce willis any effort here no the thing is th this again tells me where bruce willis has completely lost any desire and passion for the industry this is basically it's like die hard in a power plant um, crossed with The Rock, which you could argue itself was a, a iteration of Die Hard. Um, but rather than Bruce Willis playing the heroic character here, he's playing the Hans Gruber character. Now you would have thought he would have some sense of irony here. Um, and really played it up, hammed it up, had a bit of fun with the role. Do we get any of that from him? Anything that re you know remotely resembles a bit of life left in him? No. It's the same monotone, dull, uninspired performance that we've had in the last God knows how many movies we've seen with him in. And I was desperately disappointed with that. I thought, you know, I know he doesn't work long on these movies. He probably does a week tops on most of them. Some of them days, I'm guessing. But come on, Bruce, they're paying you money. They're paying you to get your picture on the poster. I'm sure there are quite a lot of fans out there still that watch these movies because they, they like you. Um, put some effort in, for goodness sake. And it just... I couldn't believe it, the fact that he was playing the villain here. And he, why he didn't get this sense of irony and thought, I'm going to play this up a little bit and have a little bit of fun. No, none of it. Really disappointing. Oh, Bruce. And the second problem we've got here with this film is Patrick Muldoon. He just does not make an interesting action lead at all. Um, I don't recall anything that I've seen him in since Starship Troopers, but I probably will have done, and it probably will have been low budget affair stuff. Um, he just, I, don't, I didn't buy him as an ex army ranger, I didn't buy him as a badass at all. Um, and the action scenes were so clumsily put together, it didn't do him any justice. It didn't kind of change my mind at all. And don't get me wrong, you can make... The movies can make anybody an action star. You know, who thought that they could have made Matt Damon an action star? And then they, we saw the Bourne identity and was totally bought it. So they can make anybody an action star these days. Um, just didn't work for me. And that's probably due to the lack of talent in regards to, you know, fight choreography and all that kind of stuff. And it just didn't do Patrick Muldoon any justice. And it just did not make a charismatic lead or an impressive action lead at all. So you've got this villain, played by Bruce Willis, who, no effort. And you've got this lead, Patrick Muldoon, who, to be fair, he's putting the effort in. He just, you just didn't buy him as, like, this action lead. And, you know, he's got his quips, he's got his one-liners, this, that and the other. But you never really felt his desperation. You I mean, all the way through the Die Hard movies and things. Uh, do you remember those, Bruce? You know... But he was, apart from the last one, A Good Day to Die Hard, you know, he was really putting effort in, and even though 
he was firing out one-liners and quips and all this kind of stuff. You could felt the ser- you could feel the seriousness of the situation he was in, and he was always desperate and stuff. Didn't really buy it. Get any of that from Patrick Muldoon and Matthew Marsden, who whose name might sound familiar uh, in the UK. I think he was in one of our soaps in the UK for a number of years. I think it was Coronation Street, and he's turned up in the odd action movie over the years now in Hollywood. I know he was in Rambo with Stallone, and he's done a few more low budget stuff. He plays like one of the um, Bruce's Bruce's right hand men, I suppose it's fair to say. Um, so yeah, it's not great. I mean, and you know what? There's a scene in this film where Bruce Willis is interrogating a young woman that works at the plant about her brother, who's one of these police detectives that he wants revenge on. And you know what? Her acting absolutely put Bruce to shame. It was a really, really great scene for her as an actress to play opposite Bruce Willis, uh, and she's she's been really emotional, and you bought her performance. It was bang on, and all I was thinking watching that scene was, "There you go, Bruce. That's how you do it." Um, and for a moment, you saw a flicker in Bruce Willis in that scene, um, acted opposite her. Maybe there's something ignited in him for like a few seconds. Who knows? But as an action film, guys, this is pretty much a dud. It's pretty dull, the action. Um, the plot is pretty nonsensical for the most part. Why on earth would he go to all this effort if he wanted to take his revenge out on these two corrupt cops? Why go to all this effort of dragging him out to this power plant um, and then killing them or trying to get a confession? Out? I mean, just go up to him on the streets and grab him and torture them for weeks on end until you get your confession and film them why take over this power it just seemed mad why where would he get all these mercenaries from how would he pay them how would he get them on board it's one of those films that when you analyze the plot points the gaping holes basically not plot points not plot holes right so after all that what am i going to give this one well i'm going to give this one a three out of ten because it's just not very good at all there's not very there's very little to recommend here other than a, the odds moment in the film uh, where it kind of grabs your attention but it's very it's too brief uh, doesn't happen often enough and you've got an uncharismatic lead that doesn't fit the part and you've got a really uncharismatic villain that shouldn't have been doing the part so yeah that's my review for deadlock i hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching i'll be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very very soon